Let's go over some of the tools on the timeline. For example, over here, let's take a look. This right here, that's called the linked selection tool. If you'll see, that'll pop up, and also the uh, shortcuts will pop up next to it. Also, the one to, directly to the left of it, that's the snapping tool. Now, down here, over on this side, we're going to go over here to the uh, what's known as the toggle clip overlays. That way, you'll be able to see the, um, the, the video and the audio. These over here are called the timeline track heights, and I'll show you what that does. I was just going to show you these four, so I'll give you an idea of what we're going to go over. Now, I've got this particular uh, scene set up here, uh, physics students working. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, find a good spot. Okay, here we got an end point. Let's let it play for a little bit, about five or six seconds. Show them working. Okay, out point. Let's drag it down to the timeline here. Notice that the arrow goes sideways or down. We want the arrow to go down, and I'll tell you why in, an, in another clip. Now let's, uh, now let's get some, uh, a close-up. I know in this shot we've got a close-up of them working on some stuff. So let's get, uh, try to get Joseph's hands there where they were. Here we go. If we go some, do something like that, it won't be so obvious. Let's get a few seconds of that. Okay, now we'll bring it down here. Now notice, notice these little, uh, look like triangles. That's telling you that, uh, that's, that's what the snapping tool does. It tells you that you are now flush with these clips. These clips are now flush with each other. They are touching. If this is, if this is not, this is what the snapping tool is here. The snapping tool, it looks like a, a couple of stars from here, but if you look at it closer, what it is, it's a, it's an, an, it's a two arrows. It's a double-sided arrow with some marks that go out on the side just to indicate that it's a snapping tool. Now, without this, notice how there's the, uh, the triangles aren't there to tell us that we are in the spot where we need to be. So if that's clipped, if it's green, if it's selected, then it tells us automatically that we are where we need to be. Okay, now this, the linked, the linked selection tool, when that is clipped, when that is selected, no matter where we click on a clip, it's going to select the video and the audio. Now, if that is not selected, if the linked selection tool is not selected, that means that we can click on either one, the audio or the video. Just remember those two. I, we usually leave this unclicked unless we need to move both of them because a lot of times what we're going to do is we're going to put in a, a transition here. Uh, we're going to work with either the audio or the video one at a time. If they're both selected, it's going to select the audio and the video, so we don't, we don't need that most of the time for the type of productions that we do. Now let's go back down here. Let's go back down here to these. If you want to take a look at uh, this type of thing. That looks like a, a mountain here. If we click on that, notice the red line where the audio is, and there's a black line up here at the very top of the video. Now this allows the audio and the video levels to show up so you can see them. That's what this does. Now there are times when we want to do that. If you'll notice, it is at zero. It starts out at zero because the source tape or the source video is going to start out at zero. If it's too low when you play it back, that gives you the opportunity to raise it up a little bit or to bring it down a little bit. So it starts out at zero. These little blocks are known as the timeline track height the toggle timeline track height. The one that's selected right now is the one that's light blue. Uh, that's the height of this track. Notice if I go to the one directly to the left of it, it makes it smaller. Now if I go to the one to the far left, the very first one, 
it's even tinier. I usually work on the third one. Now the fourth one is pretty big, but it gives you the opportunity to work in either um, uh, in either of these four selections here. Now later on, if you want to work with something more detailed when it comes to audio, you can click on this arrow here and go up to the Show Audio Waveform. You can go over to the toolbar here, this toolbar over here, the Zoom In tool, and you can, you can uh, edit in a very detailed fashion. We usually work with the arrow, and if you don't want to go back over here to the toolbar, what you can do is you can hit the letter A, and that brings whatever tool you're working with back to the arrow. But anyway, if you want to deal with the waveforms, you can do that if you want to get really detailed when it comes down to working with audio. Notice how, let's play this back for a second, and I'll show you what, what this is going to look like. Also notice if you've got the timeline spread out real far like that, if, you're, if you've got it spread out, that's usually because you're, you're working with something very detailed. Well, if you want to bring it back to where everything is within, within the timeline so you can see it, you hit Shift-Z. It makes everything on the same page. Okay, now you try it. <laughs> 